Hello, welcome to another dynamic do-it-yourself video. And today we are going to make an energizing, fizzy bath salt. So for this, you are going to need Epsom salt, citric acid, good old sea salt, and our baking soda. You will also need a selection of essential oils. Let's get started. First and foremost, before we get started, it's very important that you should have a nice container. Um, glass is preferable with a lid where you can tighten it up because what you're going to put in here, you want to keep it dry until it's time for you to take that lovely energizing bath. We always talk about baths as being nice and relaxing, but sometimes you might need just a little bit of energy to get your day going. First, we will need two, two cups of Epsom salt. So Epsom salt is known for its muscle relaxing um, properties. You'll need two cups of this great for your muscles. Magnesium is great. Many of us are um, woefully low on magnesium. And so luckily for us, we have Epsom salt. Helps get that magnesium into us. A little bit of a soak. Okay. Right now, I'm just pressing out some of the little rocks that I see. Okay. Even though I keep this well sealed, I still get rocks because there's moisture in the air. So put that aside. Next, we will need a half cup of sea salt. You might say, well, gee, why do we need both? Aren't they both salts? Yes and no. This will help soften up your water. I'm not using a half cup measuring cup, I'm using my one cup, and I'm doing old fashioned eyeballing it in. There we go. There's our half cup. Pour it inside. There we go. But, all right, what I like to do between ingredients, especially dry ingredients, I like to use my whisk, mix them up. If I see any little stones, this is a great time to start breaking them apart. But for bath salts, it's really not that important with the stones unless they're really huge. Next, we will need one cup, one cup of baking soda. Mm -hmm. So let's see, one cup. There we go. Oh, there we have it. If you have sensitive lungs, sensitive smellers, as my mom would say, um, it's always best to use a mask when you're dealing with um, dry ingredients. Excuse me. Because you can start having a sneezing fit that will pretty much take the fun out of whatever it is you're doing. Okay, there we go. Mixed it in, like I said, I always like to mix things in after, with dry ingredients, one after the other. And last of our dry ingredients will be our citric acid. Now, if you do not find citric acid in your um, stores, you can find it in the baking aisle, depending on the store. Um, if you can't find it, you can use cream of tartar. Cream of tartar is a little expensive though. Um, this citric acid, I picked this up on an online retailer because I was having a tough time finding a large bag of it. So I found this on the online retailer. I'm not gonna really say which retailer I used um, because I do not want to try to promote a business without their permission. But uh, you go online, you look it up, check out 
eBay or what have you. What I'm doing right now, and I'm just using my fingers to break up some of the larger little rocks that are in there. See that? I'm breaking it up a little bit before I pour it in. Okay. So I'll put that aside. See this little, there it is. I'm mixing that up. So right now we have created the base. The citric acid is where you get that foaming, fizzy magic. Okay, you find this in bath bombs. Um, bath bombs are fun, they're cute, they're great for gifts, but for my personal use, I like to just have a nice little bath salt that I could just, you know, scoop up, pour in my bath as much as I need, a little bit, a lot, whatever. Okay, so those are our dry ingredients. Last, we are going to need our essential oils. Now, essential oils have a purpose. And for our bath, we have the um, one, you give you a little aromatherapy, so you could breathe in the scents that are um, supposed to soothe you or energize you. In this case, it's gonna be energizing you. Um, and also, topically, sometimes our um, essential oils can work very well through our skin. All right, so peppermint, tea tree oil, those type of um, essential oils are stimulating and they're great for congestion and things of that nature. The essential oils we are going to use will be Peppermint, orange, grapefruit, grapefruit, and lavender. Okay, I'm trying out a new um, essential oil uh, company brand. So this is not my usual, but you know what? For a bath, it's a nice way to try it out to see. We're going to need, you can use seven to 10 drops of essential oils in your recipe. I am going to use eight. I will have two drops of peppermint. One, two, okay. and I will use two drops of orange. And let's see, two drops of grapefruit. Two drops there. And two drops of lavender. You might think, well, eight drops. Two, there we go. You might say, well, eight drops, that can't be enough. Um, but you do understand that when it comes to essential oils, less is more. Doesn't mean you have to throw, I mean, you have to pour in like a half a cup or whatever. As I'm stirring this, the scent is already coming up. And um, as you blend them all together, I'm getting a nice citrusy, it's a citrusy type of scent. And I can see with the, you know, with the grapefruit and the orange, peppermint gives it a little bit of a um, cooling element to it. Lavender, a little soothing element. But this is very pleasant, very nice. I'll get my jar here and scoop it in. Now, if you want, if you're a person who wants color in their um, bath, in your bath salts, you can use some um, food coloring, you know, anything that um, um, can give you color that won't be overwhelming. Put a, a drop or two inside, mix it up. I'm not really big on coloring, 
but um, if you are, if you're making this for a gift for someone and you want to make it look a little bit more festive, decorate a little bit more, you can easily add some color. Okay, there we go. Almost to the top. Now this jar I picked up at one of those um, dollar stores. You know, it didn't cost much. I have to warn you that um, glass containers like this sometimes depending on the time of year are hard to come by so if you happen to be in one of those types of stores and you see these jars I would suggest you get it move that out the way there I suggest you go ahead and grab it and put it in your pantry for activities like this. Now in a previous video I showed you how I made this tag with a little bit of um, twine here, hemp twine. You know if you want to make this into a uh, if you want to make this into a gift I'll um, the, the tag or the actual the link for this will should come up there as a little thought bubble but um, anyway that is it. So I made this nice lovely um, energizing fizzy bath salt you use a couple of spoonfuls in your bath as much as you want okay um, something like this it depends on how big your bath is I could easily say oh take two scoops or half a jar or whatever but it's up to you very subjective okay. and because this is glass and because the top the lid here is metal metallic is holding in those scents and so the longer it sits the more your ingredients get steeped in the essential oils and the better the richer the smell okay so i hope this was helpful if you like what you saw give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button down below if you are eager to see more of these in your inbox hit that bell notification bell and hopefully youtube will let you know that I have put something up for you. So anyway, until next time.